cider mill. Hi, I'm Aaron Jonah Lewis, and I'm a fiddle player and a banjo player, and I love to play music. I've been playing my whole life. I'm something of a seeker. I'm always looking out, trying to find some other thing to learn, some new style. I'm always getting excited about learning new things, and I think that's both good and bad because I haven't ever just settled on one thing that I'm going to stay at and keep doing, but I do a lot of different things. So I started playing violin when I was about four or five, and I did Suzuki, which I'm a big fan of. I actually got certified to teach Suzuki, although I haven't really done it very much because I'm on the road so much, uh, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's really great. And uh, I did Suzuki and classical music until the end of high school. And I was exposed to jazz a little bit when I was younger, but not too much. And then uh, after high school, I quit playing classical. And I, I didn't really intend to keep playing the violin at all. But pretty soon after that, I, I met uh, a friend of mine who um, we're still really great friends. And he he's from Virginia. He convinced me that I should play bluegrass with him. And I said, no, I don't want to play bluegrass. I'm not into that. And he said, just try it. You'll see. It's really fun. I had a really solid technical foundation with my classical training, but that doesn't really give you the tools you need to sound authentic, to, to get the sound of bluegrass or old time. And what I really had to do and what I recommend to anyone else is listen a lot to recordings as much as you can and spend as much time as possible with people who are playing that music. So I spent about a year or two learning tunes from sheet music and from recordings and playing with this band, but feeling like I didn't quite get it. And when I finally went to a festival where I was surrounded by hundreds, maybe thousands of pickers who were just playing tunes all day and night, that's when it clicked and I said, oh, I get it now. Coming from classical music, the one of the main things I had to understand, I had to learn to get the feel of this music, is that it's all about rhythm. Classical music is often much more melodic based, and this is really a dance music. And when you start to understand that you can play the fiddle like a drum, you want to think about it like beating on a drum, really. I picked this tune, Cider Mill, because it's a really great example of this one particular bowing pattern that's very useful in a lot of old-time fiddle tunes. One, two, three, four, if that's our rhythm, two, three, four. That's our pattern. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's always starting before the downbeat. This kind of helps to propel the rhythm and keep it, keep it moving, keep it exciting. So, four, and, and I often will lift the bow at the end of it on that up bow so that I can chop it back down again for that down. And if you come away from this with nothing other than that sense of rhythm, that would be great because that's all you really need. Um, the melody parts, the actual notes with your left hand, that can come later. You can pick that up much more easily. But at least for me, learning these bowing patterns and these rhythms was really the key to unlocking that old time sound. <laughs>